Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a smoky eye tutorial on this look right here. I know I did a smoky eye tutorial on my last video, but this one's a little bit more special in that this is celebrating the upcoming release of Fifty Shades of Grey that is coming out in theaters on February 13th. Uh, the makeup that I'm wearing is actually the Makeup Forever uh, collection that they had done with uh, the for the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. They were the main makeup that was used on set for the Fifty Shades of Grey film, and they do have a collection that is now available in Sephora um, that is very limited edition. So I thought I'd show you guys a little bit about the collection and then also give you a tutorial about this look, which is just one of the looks that they provide in the kits that you can uh, pick up for yourself in Sephora. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the one that I'm going to be using during this tutorial itself, which is their main one uh, that comes in a box like this. It's quite large. And this is the uh, Makeup Forever Give In To Me uh, collection. It comes in a box like this, which I think is beautiful. It's so huge. Uh, this retails for $79. And when you open it up, you get a uh, mirror at the top of the case. You also have, I'm going to try and show this best I can, um, a set that has the actual eyeshadow palette. You have a mascara here. There is a beautiful lipstick, the one that I'm wearing now, and a complimentary gloss that goes along with it. And one of their new graphic uh, ink eyeliners. Um, I've been using one of their liquid eyeliners before that I've shown you in my videos, their Ink Pot. This is their graphic liner. It's also so amazing. Um, and I think it's just cool. It kind of plays on the colors that you see in Fifty Shades of Grey, this very sort of sultry, mysterious box. And then it's got this lock and key area here where you can open up the side of the makeup case and put anything that you'd like to store in there, which is really a cute touch, I think. And if you want, you can store maybe other makeup goodies in here or jewelry, whatever you like. And of course, once you've uh, removed the makeup, you can actually pull this portion of the box out and it actually becomes more of a storage kit and jewelry box for yourself. So I think that's a really cute touch. I love how they've done that. It's really rare that you see, you know, a limited edition collection that also includes sort of a jewelry box or casing or large case set that you can use after you've taken the makeup out. So I love that. Um, for what's inside, when you open the box, you actually get this um, little flyer that's about the movie. It has various looks on how you can create different things from the movie. This is just talking a little bit about the film. And it has different makeup looks that you can create with the palette that's inside and the makeup inside uh, and a step-by-step -step guide. So I've tried one of them out. I've done the smoky eye that they've got here, which is what I'm wearing. And I will be showing you in just a few seconds on how to recreate yourself. But the makeup is so luxurious. The payoff is phenomenal. Makeup Forever, I love anyway. I can never say enough good things about their brand. I just think it's top quality. I just, ah, oh, I love it. Um, but I love that they gave this book in this collection as well. Uh, now there are, other, are, there are other portions to this collection also. There is a blush trio, which I don't have, uh, that the blush uh, retails for $56. Um, but I also do have a smaller set if you just want a little sampler from the video or from the uh, film. Uh, this is called Tease Me Innocent. This is a nude lip trio that's inside. So in this box, you get another little flyer. Again, just about the movie and it explains how you can do different uh, lip looks for what's inside the box. So really great that you get to recreate what was done on set during the film. And then inside the actual box itself, you get one of their lab shines, which I had never tried their glosses, to be honest, prior to trying this look out that I'm wearing right now, and their glosses are phenomenal. The little brush that's inside of this gloss is like a small paintbrush, and it's just so soft and just swipes the product on amazingly. So I really highly recommend their lip glosses if you haven't tried them before, their lab shines. It also comes with their Aqua Lip Liner. This is in color 3C. It's that very sort of Kylie Jenner color not to overkill on you know the Kylie Jenner look but it's such a beautiful nude color and I really feel that you could use this over and over again and then it also comes out with my favorite favorite long wearing lipstick I love these things uh, this is their aqua rouge and just a very like basic sort of nude kind of color but it's absolutely stunning and I really feel that you could use these three complementary together obviously or stand alone 
in day-to-day -day looks, you could use them with the smoky eye look, you could use it for really just about anything. These, uh, this trio retails for $38 Canadian, which is fantastic because this alone often retails for I think about $28. So you're getting these other two, which ends up being quite a steal. I think it's a really good bang for your buck. So definitely, definitely try these out. So if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with Maybelline's Master Prime by Face Studio Primer. It's got a green tinge just to cancel out any redness that I've got in my skin because I got a lot right now. <laughs> and uh, then I'm going to be moving on to Kat Von D's foundation, my holy grail foundation. But because she doesn't make a primer or sorry, a foundation that's quite in my shade, I have to combine two right now when I'm a little bit more on the pale side just because her lighter foundations I find uh, have too much of a pink undertone for me. So I have to combine one of my tan colors that I have and then her lightest one the light 42 to get sort of the right undertone for myself because I am very pale and her next pale uh, foundation with a warm undertone is too dark for me so anyway love the uh, color combination that I come up with because it is my perfect match but it isn't one that I can get out of Sephora so I've had to experiment with this one a little bit but when you're doing a smoky eye you want your skin to be flawless and that's why I'm picking a full coverage foundation and then I'm going to move on to Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and I'm just going to cover up any dark circles that I've got under my eyes because I have a lot of them and I just love this concealer it doesn't crease and stays put all day next I'm moving on to Max Studio Fix in NC15 and I'm just going to set my whole face with this powder I'm going to avoid sort of the hollows of my cheeks because I am going to be applying some contour cream in that area but I do like to set the rest of my foundation otherwise I love this stuff it's the perfect shade for me and I just find it really mattifies my look for the rest of the day and then I'm going to be taking Max Pro uh, Conceal Palette in medium and I'm just going to be carving out some areas I'm going to bronze and contour on my face and I'm just going to blend it in with the Real Texan Techniques, sorry, Beauty Blender, I guess you can call it the Beauty Blender. It's the first time I've used it and I actually really like it. It's got a flat edge that I find it a little bit easier to use as opposed to the Beauty Blender. Um, there's not a mass difference in them, so I don't really have a preference from one over the other, uh, but I really like this one so far. Then I've been taking Kat Von D's Contour Kit and just lightly going over the creams that I put on just to set them in place and further hollow out my contour. For those that are curious as to what Kat Von D's Contour Kit is like, I do have a video that you can go check out that has a comparison between Anastasia's Contour Kit and Kat Von D's. I love Kat Von D's. She's the winner for me out of the two contour kits, but um, you know, in case you're interested to see the comparison against the two, you can always go and check out that video. And then my new holy grail brow product is this Aqua Brow by Makeup Forever in number 10 for blondes. I'm just going to fluff out my brows and apply this uh, color for my brows. I find it fills them in really, really beautifully and it keeps your brows stay or makes your brows stay in place all day long. I am obsessed with this stuff and I used to love Anastasia, but I have tossed it aside for now and I'm just obsessed with my Makeup Forever. It's the only brow product I use currently. Now moving on into the actual 50 shades of gray look, I'm going to take the dark gray color that comes in the given to me palette and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid up into my crease and just really pack on that color. It's this beautiful soft sultry sort of gray so we're not going to do an overly dark smoky eye um, but it is a very sensual one which goes with the film really well. This product applies beautifully and I am applying it above my hooded lid up into my actual crease so for those you that have hooded eyes just make sure you extend the eye extend sorry the eyeshadow is a little bit higher and then taking this khaki color I'm going to put it into my crease and just fluff it out further just to give a little dimension to the look and to apply a little bit of a different shade and continue pulling the product up towards my brow bone without going up too too high and then using the soft sort of salmon color, I'm just actually going to apply this underneath my brow bone. I wanted to use a little bit of a darker shade just to continue with that sort of smoked out effect that we're creating with the soft smoky eye. I love the shade. And then I'm going to go back in with actually a brow brush and just go back and dip into the khaki and the gray and just line the bottom of my lash line just to continue that sort of smoky look and to bring it underneath. And then using the graphic liner from Makeup Forever, I'm just going to line my waterline just to smoke 
smoke that area out a bit and give it a little bit of depth into my eye. And then I'm also going to do the exact same thing and I'm also going to pull that up into my tight line. Um, it didn't really call for this in the look in the little booklet that this kit comes with but I wanted to do something on the upper lash line just because it didn't look right to me without putting something on the top as well. And then using one of my favorite mascaras, this is the Smoky Extravagant Mascara from Makeup Forever. I love this stuff. I used to use it ages ago and somehow forgot about it, so reigniting my love for this one. And then using BH Cosmetics Professional Blush Kit, I'm going to be using this light shade here and just lightly dusting my cheeks with a little bit of color. Just because I have a more smoky, soft eye, I don't want to go too crazy and put a light blush on my cheek um, that's too pink. I just feel it would detract from the eye that we're creating. And using these beautiful lipsticks that come in the kit and this gloss, I'm actually going to apply that to my lips, but lost the footage for it because my camera turned off. Sorry, but this is the up close look, guys, of the finished product. I love it. I totally think that this is a look that you can wear during the day or in the evening. It's a super fast, smoky eye. It's definitely wearable, and I love it. Obsessed. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun doing it. I really, really highly recommend the Makeup Forever in collaboration with Fifty Shades of Grey limited edition collection. Love it. The quality is so amazing. And of course, it's always really fun to recreate looks that you see in your favorite films. Uh, so definitely check out the movies out February 13th. Hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will see all of you guys really soon. See you later.